pick up does some kind of magic. Okay. Sort of thing. So you'd hold like a fret down there, it'll, you know, that's what fret it is, push it down, and it will almost like mimic the tuning instead of actually like putting it in. Oh, so it's not actually adjusting the tuning up there. Ah, oh, right. It's okay. got one of the kind of gadgets that, you know, like you sometimes see on the Gibson sort of stuff. Yeah. Where it's the kind of uh, the mini tunes. But, yeah. Okay. But, yeah. Do you want to try it out? Um, oh no, I won't do it actually if it's just because that's electric tuning then essentially. Yeah, sounds very similar to the Line Six kind of. Oh, uh, Variax sort of thing. Variax, yeah. yeah. That sounds. I thought it was going to actually mechanically tune it, no, which yeah. would have been quite impressive. Yeah, yeah. It's it's quite good. There's um, it's been a few ups and downs for it. Like uh, some people love it, some people hate it. Um, for all that sort of stuff, you know, like uh, you get some traditional sort of Gibson players who yeah. love the kind of uh, standard manual way of doing it, and you get some players which love just a one touch sort of thing and uh, tune it well, you see. Okay. What, um, what is that Ibanez? That's an S range? Yes, yeah. No, we've just got it in, I haven't had a proper look at it yet. Is that the Sorry. 700 series? The 521. Oh, okay. Oh. But I, I played it. I just haven't really looked into it that much, but for humbuckers, it sounds really straight. Okay. So really quite like cool. So what do you know what um, it's got in there, pickup wise? I don't actually know. It doesn't actually have names on it. No, no, no. It's quite thin yeah. though, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, quite... yeah. Like wafer thin. Yeah. I'm guessing it's just a kind of stock. Yeah. Stock okay. Stock range really. And is that the, do you know whether it's got the Wizard 2 or Wizard 3? Does it yeah, say on yeah. there? Let's have a look. Sorry, I'm not, we normally suck a lot of Fender, so when we get an Ibanez in, I'm like, Ah, oh, okay. No, it doesn't say. No. Oh, I'll have to. Do you want to get the gun? Yeah, thank you. Clean channel, all right? Yeah, no, that's fine. Perfect. If you want, yeah, you just, uh, set this over, drive select. Perfect, thank you very much. Whoops, sorry. That's all right, you can oh, no, out. Yeah, you can yeah. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Yeah, this is one section. You can see I've tried this. I've tried this one. Be using this for the traditional metal playing of an Ibanez guitar. It almost feels like you'd want to use this for, I wouldn't say an acoustic style, but kind of lighter style music, maybe light rock. Yeah, I don't know. Feels good though. It's always good to stop in a music shop when on holiday. Um, they didn't have a wide range of guitars, mainly Fender. There was one Ibanez I tried out bit of an odd one really, um, didn't have tremolo or anything like that, it's 24 fret, very light, um, quite nice to play, however I'm not sure where it would um, fit in for me playing, so I generally play hard rock normally, so um, and I also had a nice Fender amp there that I like though. So. Right guys, we've come to Howard Davis Park in St. Helier, which is the main town in Jersey. Um, looks like a lovely park so far, just entered in. And we've got a gorgeous day, clear blue skies, and it's nice and warm, so uh, I'm having to be a little bit careful today because I've got a little bit of a crispy neck when we went to visit the castle the other day. Let's have a look around.
I must say, out of all of the parks I've been to, these Jersey parks seem to be really well done. They're really well maintained, lots of flowers. Obviously we've come at the right time of year, but yeah, it's lovely. We just stopped off in the marketplace. I must say, even the marketplace is very floral and picturesque. I can uh, now start to understand why my parents come back after living in Jersey for 10 years and started filling the garden up with flowers. It totally makes sense now, because they were so used to seeing all the flowers out here. Not only the marketplaces that look nice, all of the buildings have been well maintained and look like they're painted regularly um, and overall the town is just very nice to walk through. Talking of which we've just stopped off for some crepes for lunch and uh, very tasty. I had uh, bacon and brie and Andrea had um, was it a combination of mushrooms, cheese and well, yeah. caramelised onion? Caramelised onion. Normandy. Yeah, it's called a Normandy. Called a Normandy. Yeah, so all good. Um, I thought I'd give you a quick room tour whilst we're here. We're staying at the Apollo Hotel. Now, the room's actually quite spacious. It, the, the decoration is a little bit dated, but um, in fairness, it works. It's, it's fine. We looked at the pictures online and we could see that anyway. And it, the hotel had very good reviews. So that's why we decided to stay here. I'll uh, quickly show you the bathroom first. Very, very basic. There you go. Sink, toilet shower i'm not a fan of these curtains i prefer glass ones but there we go and then moving on in here we've got bed got a mirror um yeah dressing table which we're trying to keep all the stuff up high so logan doesn't get it but he can now reach it's got an ironing board which is quite handy wardrobe um We've got a TV up there as well, quite handy. And they misunderstood when we said we've got a kid. Uh, we asked for a cot, which they gave us, but they also gave us this kind of segregated extra room with bunk beds. So, um, yeah, you know, all in all, all in all, quite a lot of space, perfect for Logan to kind of run around in here. And, um, yeah, we're we're happy with the accommodation. It's got a nice swimming pool. It's got a swimming pool inside and outside as well, so that's good. However, the outside one isn't heated, and it's not quite warm enough for me to go to go for a swim. I did see someone else going for a little morning swim before breakfast. Good luck to them. That must have been freezing. Um, yeah, we've got road view. We didn't pay extra to get the pool view, but hey ho. Yeah, so there we go. That's uh, room tour complete. Ching! Later that evening we went to the Boathouse in St Albin and I had the Thai green curry and Andrea had a lobster macaroni. This was my favourite restaurant we went to in Jersey and I think the food was exceptional.
I don't like it super hot, hon. I don't know why it's super hot chocolate. It'll burn my mouth. No, I don't think it's more hot. I think it has some sort of other ingredient that makes it super hot. No, it burn my mouth, hon. <laughs> Don't forget to give me some self-love, guys. Until next time, peace.